In this video I'm going to introduce you to the copy, mirror and rotate commands. Um, what I've got here is just a selection of uh, catalogs from the First and Architecture website. Um, you can download these for free so if you head over there you can get hold of those. Um, and then I've just got this little house here so I thought a good way of demonstrating these tools um, is to just put some of this furniture in the house. So we'll start off with the copy command, it's really straightforward. Um, and there aren't many options that come with it. Um, so let's take this sofa here and we just want to copy it over into the lounge area there. Um, so I'm going to start by typing CP, which is for copy. Press enter. I'm going to select the object. You can see it's selected there. Press enter. And then it's asking me to specify the base point. Um, so what I tend to do is pick a base point on the um, item I'm copying doesn't really matter where. Um, so there we go. I had authors on just there. I've just switched that off. Um, so now you can see my cursor has the um, item of furniture attached to it. So as I come over, when I've selected where I want it to go, click. And you can see it's now trying to copy another one. So if I only want to have make one copy, I can either now press escape or enter and that will finish that command. If you copy without specifying the base point, I'll show you this again, select object, let's say I just randomly click to start the copy, your cursor is then um, away from the item that you're trying to copy and this can get a little bit kind of frustrating because you may snap to other things and the furniture's not in the right place and stuff like that, so it's usually best to specify a base point on the item that you're trying to copy. Um, so that's it with copying, it's fairly straightforward. Um, so Let's move on to mirroring. Um, there are a couple of little um, things that you can do with mirroring that's really useful. So let's say, for example, um, in this room, we're gonna have a, another sofa on the other side of the room facing that sofa. So we could copy it and then rotate it around to um, get it the right way around, or alternatively, we can mirror it, which means we're just cutting out one command. Um, so instead of having two commands, doing a copy command and then having to go back and do a rotate command, we can just straightforward mirror it. So I'm going to select the item, I'm going to press MI for mirror, enter. Now you essentially here have to create a line that the item is going to be mirrored from. So what I'm going to do in this case is draw an imaginary line through the middle of the room so that the sofa ends up being over here. So it's asking me, you can see on my cursor there, specify the first point of the mirror line. So I'm going to click and now it's asking me to specify the second point of the mirror line. So I'm going to bring my cursor over and you can see it's starting to show me where the item's going to end up. Um, now I'm going to just quickly turn ortho on, which allows me to keep nice straight lines. Um, the shortcut for doing that is option L on a Mac, or I think it's uh, control L on a PC. So as we can see, it's mirrored it directly across and I'm just going to click to finish. Now, it's asking me, do I want to erase the source object? So do I want to erase the object that I've just mirrored? In this case, no, I don't. So I'm going to, so I'm just going to enter that. Um, if I did want to erase the source object, I'd just type in Y and press enter. And there we go. Really simple, quickly mirrored the items across. Another thing that's really good with uh, mirroring is you can cut down your drawing time hugely um, if you're drawing a complex object, so you see I've just started drawing the front of this office chair here, um, you don't have to draw the whole thing. If it's an object that is symmetrical, you can just mirror it across. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm, you can see there's like lots of little separate lines here. So I'm going to select the whole item. You can see I haven't selected this central line. This is a, a guideline. I'm going to press MI for mirror. And once again, it's asking me to select my first point, which is here, and then I'm going to go down and select my second point there. Do I want to erase the source? Well, no, I don't in this case. And there we go, you can see the object has been mirrored, and I'm just going to remove this central line here. And that is, saves a huge amount of time um, when you're drawing complex objects that are symmetrical. So now moving on to the um, rotate command. I will, let's uh, move over to the dining room now. I'm just going to copy this dining room table over to here. 
Uh, now to start with, let's just do a simple rotate. So I'm going to type RO for rotate, press enter, select my object, press enter. And I'm just going to sort of randomly click in the middle of this table. And you can see as I pull the cursor around, I haven't clicked again, I've just clicked once. It's giving, showing me where the rotation is going to end up. So let's just um, say I'm going to rotate it like that. So that's one way of using the rotate command, um, and that's the simplest way. Um, but it can also be the least accurate way. So let's um, let's try another way. I'm going to press R O to rotate. You can see in this case I've selected the item first, so it won't ask me to do that. And then it's asking me to specify a base point. Well, because I kind of want this to rotate around the center point of the table again, I'm going to click in the middle. But this time, instead of just randomly pulling the table around as to and trying to get it roughly in the right place, I'm going to specify an angle. So I'm going to type in 90, 90 degrees and press enter and you can see it just it um, rotates it to 90 degrees. So that's another way you can use the um, rotate command. Uh, there may be some instances where you want to rotate a copy of something. Um, so again, let's just highlight this, RO for rotate. and specify the base point again. This time I'm going to specify a different base point. As you can see it's starting to um, show me the rotation already. Now at this point um, in the uh, command bar you can see in the bottom left hand of my screen um, it's also giving me two other options. So it's saying I can specify a rotation angle or I can copy or reference. I'll show you reference in a minute but to copy so I'm going to press C for copy and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees again so I'm going to type in 90, press enter. You can see it's rotated the table from the point I selected at the back of this chair, and it's rotated at 90 degrees, but instead of getting rid of the original one, it's just given me a copy. Um, this can be quite a useful little tool. Now, the other thing we can do is um, rotate along a reference line. So let's say you don't know the exact angle you want, but there's a line that you want to rotate it along. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to do a little line here at a random angle like that. So I'm going to want to rotate this table along that angle. So again, I'm going to select the table, RO for rotate. Now this time I'm going to select the base point where that line is. You can see it's starting to show me how the table is going to rotate. Now this time um, I'm going to press R for reference down here at the bottom. So I'm going to press R, enter. Now it's asking me to specify the reference angle, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on that corner again, and then I'm going to click along the edge of this table. So this is setting the uh, items line that you're wanting to rotate. So here we go. So you can see now that this table is rotating along that line, and I'm now able to bring it round and snap to the line that I've just put in place there. So that's how you can rotate using the rotate reference command.